if I could like make a generalized statement, a lot of women will feel best at somewhere between like 100 to 500 total testosterone. Now that's a big range, but I'm saying that because it's pre peri post menopause, typically like pre menopause, you don't need as high of levels because the body is naturally producing more estrogen. So you don't need the testosterone to aromatize an estrogen. So you're probably okay at a little bit lower levels. Post menopause, you probably see women feel a lot better, like four to 500 total testosterone. People lose their mind if they heard that. They're like, oh, that's way outside of the reference range. So it depends from person to person. There's a lot more, there's a lot of variation in men. It's like some men feel great at 900. Some men great feel great at 1500. They can feel low at 900. So it's not like a one size fits all solution, but I will say most women are nowhere near those numbers. So like if you had the average woman pulled, you know, their blood work on the street today, you're probably going to see like a total testosterone of like 20, 25, 30. And that's just going to be way too low, even though it falls in the normal range. So I'll say that. The estrogen, it's really hard to say, but estrogen can be like wildly different depending on the time of the month for a woman that's still having her menstrual cycle. I would say after their menstrual cycle is done, anywhere upwards of like 90, 100, 110 um, estradiol, I think is where they're going to like start to feel the difference from where they would be low before. Like I said, the reference range for a postmenopausal woman of estradiol is less than 31. So if you're less than 31, you're good.